Hello everyone, it's Maria Russell here with you today and thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. I am back today for Newton Snook Designs and I will be sharing with you a process video of this Paris theme card. This stamp set is called Newton Dreams of Paris stamp set and it's coordinating dies. It features this cat riding a hot air balloon, a sentiment bonjour, couple of other hot air balloons in small size and an Eiffel Tower and two cats in different poses. So I really love that you can purchase a coordinating die with this stamp set. To start, I'm going to stamp my images on Nina Solar White cardstock. This is the 110 pound and for today I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to color the images with my Copic markers. And I will be showing you the coloring of the images and it will be sped up just a little bit, not as fast as I used to do it on my videos because I got a message before saying that the coloring was way too fast. So I'm going to speed this up, but just a little bit. You will be able to see all the blending that I did with the Copic markers. And this is nice because in the photographs, you can't tell that I did some blending on the images with my Copic markers. It's because the light was too bright when I was taking photographs of the images. So this way you will be able to see all the blending and determine what Copic markers I use for each image. process my camera died so I had to charge it and then restart the video and I didn't realize that when I was coloring the pink part of the hot air balloon so now I'm just going to show you how I colored the cat with the warm grays and then I will be die cutting the images using the coordinating dies
that I have die cut all of the images, I will start to work on my background. I have an A2 size Bristol Smooth white cardstock here and I will be using my Distress Oxide inks. This is a combination of picked raspberry, tattered rose, and antique linen. I have my mini ink blending tool here with my craft mat. And while I was working on this, it wasn't really coloring my background properly so I had to change the sponge and that made it so much better. I chose this color combination because I wanted the sky to look like it's sunset and almost evening time or dusk and that's why I will just be working on the color until I'm satisfied with my blending and then I will be using my distress sprayer to distress my background a little bit and then dab it dry with my paper towel. at this point that I wanted to add some nice detail to my background so I'm using this die from my stash it's a Sun but it has a heart instead of a circle so it's going to die cut that heart there with some Sun rays and I wanted to die cut that first so I know the placement of the Sun and I'm going to continue to color my background and then also blend more colors in so that this looks like sunset. depth to this card and since it's already busy I wanted to add the hills there without adding more elements to it so I'm using this die from my stash and I'm also going to use my crease pad and I will just sort of dry emboss that stitching detail to create the look of hills I wanted to add some clouds to my design so I'm using this Sissix stamping secret tool or something like that so I'm stamping the clouds with my leftover Nina solar white and then I'm going to die cut that using the coordinating die and now that I have all of my images die cut and colored I will be adding the images to my background and I am ready to assemble the card
And just to show you here real quick that I added some greenery around the Eiffel Tower and I use a stamp set from Newton Snook again. And then I heat embossed this sentiment using a cat scrappiness die to add my sentiment on the card. So I'm just going to adhere that with my adhesive and then finish the card by adding glossy accents to the hearts on the hot air balloon. I also added some white dot details to the images using my Sakura Jelly Roll pen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out Newton Snook Designs. Next week is actually our stamp release for June, so stay tuned for that. Newton Snook is always giving away a stamp set for each release day, so don't forget to check out the blog. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you like this, and please give this a thumbs up if you like it. The supplies I use will be listed and linked below. Thank you again, and happy crafting!